Hello beautiful people and a warm welcome to Clenham Spot. This recipe is inspired by the Ghanaian salted beef and wamo. Now if you live in Ghana and you want Tolu beef for your wamo, you just have to go to Sister Kweli at the junction near the Baba shop to get some. But we that we live in the diaspora, no, it's not that easy for us. But we have bacon and bacon is everywhere. And do you know salted beef and bacon are made through the same process? Yes, that is why I use bacon as a substitute. So come with me and let's explore this recipe together. We are going to be working with bacon, obviously, coconut oil, salt, onion and scotch bonnet pepper, and our rice. I'll be stating all the quantities below in the description box, so make sure you check it out. So what I normally do is to soak my rice in warm water just for it to release all the starch. This is to get a patched result, aka a more one one. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this on the side. The next step just consists of slicing, cutting and chopping the rest of the ingredients that we have. If you're wondering why I'm using two types of onions, there is no particular reason. <laughs> I just feel like the red onion brings color, not just flavor. So that's the reason why I'm mixing it up. And for the scotch bonnets, it just brings that something to the whole situation. So I'm going to take the seed out because I'm not after the spiciness. I'm just after, you know, the flavor and the aroma that it adds. Done with the chopping and the cutting, it's not time to fry. So add your coconut oil in a pan and without letting it melt completely, just add your onions because I don't want my oil to burn. And I choose coconut oil because I find the combination between coconut oil and smoked bacon to be the perfect ensemble. <laughs> the taste and the aroma and the, everything about this is just divine and amazing. As you can see, I'm now adding my bacon because my onion is beginning to caramelize. Now that the bacon is well fried and it has released its um, juices, <laughs> I'm going to add my well washed rice. And then I'm going to stir for about three minutes just to let the rice fry and you know familiarize with the rest of the ingredients in the pan. Now I'm gonna add my salt and after the salt I'm gonna go for water. Now when you're adding the water you have to be careful not to add too much because this is one more. this is not your normal rice that you're going to eat with stew. So the water does not have to be more than a centimeter above the rice if it's more than that then you're going to have a mushy result which is definitely not what we're going for so after letting it cook for 10 minutes we're almost done now we need to add our scotch bonnet pepper that we previously chopped together with some fresh onions and at this point i'm going to try to steam the rice so what i'm going to do is to cover it with um, baking paper you can use aluminium paper if that's what you have this is to seal everything in and steam the rice with the rest of the ingredients and after about seven to ten minutes our rice will be ready After seven to 10 minutes of cooking, voila, our rice is ready. Beautiful, right? I give you my word, the taste does not disappoint either. I know this would normally call for sardine and some fried eggs, but I chose to do something different. So I add some slight veggies, as you can see, 
and oven grilled chicken and some green sauce so if you love what you saw please do not forget to subscribe like and share my videos connect with me on instagram my instagram handle is on the screen as you can see and do not forget to come back next week for the recipe of this succulent chicken thanks for watching and bye bye